Before beginning the ACT test, let's review what you will see on the screen and the various components of the test and the results. On the ACT screen, you will see the DBNCL on the y-axis and the number of trials completed on the x-axis. On the top of the screen, you will see the presentation level for each ear. That level is automatically determined by the software depending on the patient's audiogram. The sound samples for the test are located on the right side of the screen. You may play them as needed to familiarize the patient with what to expect during the test. If more information is needed prior to beginning the test, you may click on the Help buttons on the screen. When you are ready to begin the ACT test, click on the Start button. Once the test is complete, you will see the trials listed on the graph in a stepwise function. In the stepwise function, the shaded circles represent the trials in which the patient correctly heard the siren. The empty circles represent the trials in which the patient did not hear the siren. The green circles indicate which trials were used in determining the ACT score. The ACT score is called the DBNCL, or the Normalized Contrast Level. The DBNCL is the difference in modulation threshold compared to the threshold of young, normal hearing people. After the test is complete and the score is calculated, you can click on the Help icon and it will display a table listing the different NCL values.